here's what I want to say to anybody that want to start a business. Please make sure that you understand that it is not easy to start a business. I want to make sure that I give you guys all the right tea that it is not easy to start a business, but you can definitely do it. And I want you to start your business. I want you to be successful. I want you to be able to get out of poverty and stop being on the damn food steps. I want you to. I want you to be able to buy that house for your kids. I want you to be able to get out of that toxic relationship because you are financially dependent on that man. I want you to. So baby, you listen, the world is your oyster. You are able to grow if you decide to let yourself grow. Okay? I want you to be able to start and grow your dreams. Bobby Dreams University is not just about ebooks and business lists. It is mostly about you deserve all great things. I don't care what your situation is. I don't care if you got one kid. I don't care if you got 10 kids. Your dreams matter. And so, therefore, I want you to be able, okay, to understand that your dreams matter. And I want you to go somewhere in a quiet place where their kids are either asleep, they're not home yet from school, wherever, whatever, right? Don't even be around nobody that may be negative either. I want you to go somewhere and with a pen and a piece of paper. We are going back to old school times. We're not about to type shit. We're not typing nothing. What we're going to do is get a pen and piece of paper and we're going to sit down and be quiet with ourselves for 10 minutes. And then you're going to, you're going to ask yourself before you, when you sit down, you're going to ask yourself, what do I want for my life? What do I want for my life? What do I want? And nothing is too big and nothing is too small. So then I'll, after you ask yourself that, I want you to sit down for 10 minutes in silence. Can you do that, please? 21, can you do something for me? Can you hit a little rich flex for me? <laughs> nah, for real, like, can you do that for me for like 10 minutes? Not even for me, do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Okay? So just sit down for 10 minutes and then allow, allow things to just come. And I don't want you to block your blessings, your manifestations, whatever God has planned for you. I want you, okay? I want you to then start writing down things that are coming in your mind that's coming from your mind stop writing down i don't care if it says a million square foot home if it says a million square foot home put a million square foot home down on a piece of paper yes write it down i don't care if it says you know what i'm saying a million dollars starting a business writing a book leaving that a toxic husband of yours i mean losing some weight something i don't know whatever is coming from your brain i want you to write it down that's called the dream list. And that's something that I did when I was in a situation that I'll do a story time later. And I decided to do a dream list. And I wrote down everything that I wanted. And I was not in the best situation. I was in a very, very, very bad circumstance. And something was like, write down what you want. Because I never knew what I really wanted. So I just went on and said, I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And that's what I did. I wrote it down, and five years later, I mean, it took me a minute to get out of that situation now. It really did. But I was able to get out of the situation, and the situation I'm in right now, I don't even know you in the situation, but I'm in a better spot right now is what I'm trying to say. I'm in a better place right now because I wrote it down. I started my business. I, I'm an author, and I have other things that I did that I am so proud of myself for, and I want you to be proud of yourself too. I don't want you to feel like you can't do or be or have anything because of your circumstances. You can, you will, and you must. As long as you keep that mindset, you got it.